So your hair looks fantastic, by the well, way. Well, thank you. So does yours. Your hair. Are you a natural redhead? <laughs> oh I see a little it's red a bit in there. It's a ginger. I'm letting the ginger come yeah, through. Yeah. Times are changing. Yeah. Yeah. Looks you know, nice. times are changing. Times are changing. I think for a while there, ginger was so like you know frowned upon, and now it's trendy again. So. Yeah, but do you know that redheads are disappearing <laughs> from the planet? Yeah, we're an, we're an endangered species. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're having we have special powers actually. You. Oh, you have special powers. Yeah, yeah. Don't listen to the South Park crap that they were going on about gingers. What they say about redheads? Well, that's the thing. I think South Park gave gingers a bad name for a little while. What they say? Can you I, say it? I, for, it was just they were just dogging on us. Really? Okay. Yeah. And you do have special powers. We do. Okay. Yeah. Listen to the song. You'll find out. <laughs> you mention it in the song, really? <laughs> no, no, no. But the song, I, uh, I use the special powers. Okay. You in the song, you couldn't record a song like this if you didn't have special powers. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You're just dead air. <laughs> if you're blonde, you'd have nothing on the tape. <laughs> yeah. There'd be like two notes. Would you like to introduce the song? I would love to introduce. Okay. The song. Go ahead. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is my brand new single, Ghost Town. I don't hear anything. <laughs> Maybe you're not a redhead. Where are your special powers? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, excited. so did that make you just want to scream out loud until everybody hears my song, just play it for everybody? Because six or seven months, like Kevin said, that's a long time hidden in the, you know, hopper or whatever. Yeah, and I'm not a patient guy. Yeah. I'm, I get real excited. I'm like anxious and excited to share. And right. To you want to perform. tweet. You want to put it out. You want to yeah, let people yeah, hear exactly. it. Exactly. Instant so. gratification. Yeah. We all are yeah, these yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Social so how's life generation. personally, by the way? Let's talk about that. Personally, great. Really yeah. great. I, I I bought a house last year, my first home. Where'd you buy a house? Uh, in Here in LA. Okay. And I love it. And I spent a little time like decorating it. And I have friends yeah. over for dinners and things like yeah. that. So that's been really nice. That must be really cool. Any yeah. pets? No, I don't have any pets because of all the traveling I do. Uh, I want a dog so bad. Yeah. I love dogs. But I, you know, that would be, I would be a crappy pet owner if I was like going away on tour right. and leaving the dog with a... Cat? Sitter or a kennel or I, mean, I hate cats. Oh. I hate them. Sorry, I it's hate okay. them. I can't it's do okay. it. They don't. You know what it is? Is I hate them because they don't like me. Why don't cats? They don't like, like anybody. They, they, I, like they never people. come to you. They poop in the I don't house. Think they, they don't like I don't anybody. Think, I don't think I'm definitely a dog guy. I definitely. I don't, they don't like me. Uh -huh. They don't like me. Well, Wait. to be fair, Jill's a cat owner. I am a cat owner. My you, cats like I me. I hope you like me. I like you. Okay, good. Yeah, but your cats say, might not, but you might. What about getting a little dog? I take, love dogs. Like Demi has her little dog that she yeah, takes with her. Yeah, I don't Katie think Perry. that's the look. Me with a little, you know, a little chihuahua in my mm -hmm. handbag. I don't think that's the look. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Anna Lambert. That's little not the chihuahua in his handbag. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so the uh, CD is original high, so that's available for pre-order? Yes, okay. it is. Yeah. So when will we actually get that? It's Wink? June 16th. Okay. Yeah. So here's our play, and I see Peter sitting over there in the corner. He's not going to let you do this. But here's my play on you, Okay. <laughs> Is there a tease, a smidge of a song on there? You can give me like three seconds because your fans go nuts for this My stuff. heart is a ghost town. Something else. That's though. the one we just played. <laughs> That's the only one I can sing for you right now. I think you're what until about, June 16th, until I give you the instant gratification. What about gratification. The song with Tove Lo? It's called Rumors. Yes, it is. Just like two seconds of the chorus. And no, you can't it. hear it yet. You guys, you can't. You gotta, why, you gotta respect so the secrecy. I'm respecting this. You had it for six or seven months. Now, Come before now. before June, yeah, there will be some. We'll we'll put some songs out there. I promise. Okay, I promise. But wouldn't that you be gotta nice wait for this this moment? You're coming by. We it would seen be, wouldn't it? Years. <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen you in years, and this would be such a bonding experience. Now you've met these two for the first time. Mm -hmm. The entire show. Look, Peter's giving a thumbs up in the background. Oh, I'm allowed. The entire show. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't know what I'm allowed to do. <laughs> ah, why'd you turn around? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, He's thinking about oh, it. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, look. I want to feel the rush like the first time. That's all I'm going to give you. I like it. Yeah. Right. That was good. Ooh. That was good. That's, that's it. That's all you get. The first time? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the original high. That's from the original high. Okay. Yeah. That was the nice. title track. Title track? Yeah. That one's a that one's a killer. Get ready for that one. How often do you sing in public when you're not being paid to perform? In an elevator, in a parking garage, walking around. Do you feel like you're singing? It's not really about getting paid. I think it's just about I mean, I'm always singing. You should yeah. see me in my car. I'm annoying. Um, but it's not about getting paid. It's you know, it's about making sure that you're in the right situation, right. In the right setup. What songs do you sing along to in the car? What's your character oh my song God. in the car? Uh, in the car, like lately? Yeah, um, something we play. Jodeci? You sing Jodeci? That's weird. <laughs> I, I, listen, I sing along to everything. Uh -huh. um, I love all that Tove Lo stuff. I mean, like you said, she's on my album. Tove really Lo, nice. like, everybody body, that comes that in here lately has worked with Tove Lo. Yeah. She's like the new pit bull. She's, she's, just, <laughs> she's on everybody's album. She's good. She's amazing, and she's yeah. like so down to earth and unassuming. She, she's like the antsy pop star, even mm -hmm. though she's got these killer songs and this great voice. Mm -hmm. She's like totally normal. 
We did like a hike, Runyon Canyon, just like cutting mm-hmm. it up, mm-hmm. laughing. It was great. Did you hear about the zip line? Runyon I heard Canyon? about. I just right. heard about. Would that. Would you do that? I would love to do that. A zip line from the top of Runyon. But apparently, Canyon all the, the, way down. The, the homeowners are like all up in arms about well, it. Well, because it goes through their backyard. Yeah, but like it's one wire. Is it okay, really so going to be? Okay, so you got your homeowner now, right? Yeah. So you got your new home. Imagine a wire above your house, <laughs> and then every ten minutes. <laughs> Is that what you want as a homeowner, Adam Lambert? Is that what you want? Uh, <laughs> You're in your I pool free rise there's, on there's shoes falling every, ah! every half hour. <laughs> but aren't they offering them like some sort of cut? Don't they get a pr- like? I they get like some a free sort of ride. They get to ride it for free. No, I don't know. This one ride for not. free. I don't know, yeah. But one I think they're month. getting like a. I think they're offering them like, like a, a portion, like of the a proceeds? buyout or something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. God, it would be fun though to be able to do that yeah. here in LA, wouldn't it? Well, because you hike up, and I've actually never done it, but you hike up and you're tired, I assume. Mm-hmm. And then you have to walk back down, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, I do, I do Runyon like three days a week. Do you really? I love it. Is that how you stay in shape? It helps a lot. Okay, especially there's a there's the hard trail over to the left that's more yeah. steep that you go up. Like that a black diamond trail? I call it the ass blaster. <laughs> Is that what you call it? Yeah. Okay. It's like stairmaster <laughs> down. Like it's really intense. And by the time you're done, uh-huh. your thighs are kind of quivering. Yeah, you know, but it it does the trick. You're not the guy doing pull ups over there on the gate, are you? Mm, no, I, I try. <laughs> How many push-ups can you do? How many push-ups can you do? How many push-ups? Can yeah, did you do push-ups? I mean, I do sets of twenty. Like I'll do like three sets of twenty if I'm like warming up. You could bust out twenty right now. Uh, yeah. Careful, these guys do it. I could all the time. I could bust out twenty right now. Are you really gonna make me do twenty push-ups? If you don't want to, you don't have to. I mean, I, I mean, I'm forty-six. I, How old are you? How many can you do? <laughs> Should we have a push-up off? We can do it during the break. Oh, see that? <laughs> oh, see how that works? <laughs> Who doesn't like being put on the spot now? What else do you want to talk about? Uh, not push-ups anymore? No. You, know, we, we, talking we, about push-ups? you know, I don't want to push. We don't want to push here. Push-ups? Um, I don't know. I mean, the Queen tour that was amazing. I think I yeah, saw was a great, lot of fans right? over the summer here on that. It yeah. was amazing. It's crazy. Are you, do you want to get back out on the road on your own? Yeah, Obviously. definitely. Yeah, I didn't right. really get to tour much in North America with the last album, so I'm yeah. my fans are thirsty for it, and Your I'm gonna fans give it to are them. I'm gonna very... quench their thirst hopefully later this year. Yeah, they love yeah. you. They yeah. really do. I love them so much. I know the focus right now is music, but will you ever go back into acting? Because I loved you on Glee. Thank you. I'm a huge Thank you. fan of Glee. But I, any more I acting? A, I had a great time. I you know it was funny when. Um, Ryan Murphy contacted my people and made an offer. He said, hey, I'd like to put you on Glee. And I was so flattered and mm-hmm. I was excited. And I said, yes, of course, I'd love to do it. And I show up to work the first day and I was so nervous. And I was like, why am I, why am I, so- oh, right. I didn't audition. I hope I can do this. <laughs> what if I'm horrible? <laughs> what if I'm like a crap actor and no one found, no one bothered to like check it out? Was that your first acting experience? Well, on, like first kind of on camera, yeah. like TV. Yeah, kind of. So, I mean, I've done theater in the past, but that's a bit different. It's different, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> so you actually had that fear. I was that nervous. You'd be I was bad. like, I don't know what the heck right. I'm doing. What, I mean, what camera, what does this mean? So, right. I had to very carefully just kind of pay attention. And luckily, I was on set with um, Chris Cole for my first day, who's okay. a, a true professional and a really nice guy. And I just kind of watched and paid attention and picked things up. And did after the share? first day, I was good. Did was, you share with people you were nervous? Yeah. You did. You yeah. told people on set you're nervous. I'm so nervous. To try and right get now. in front of it. So to yeah, speak. yeah. You know, just let it out. <laughs> so what do you do then as a performer? Because I think many of us have been in the spot where you're giving a speech or some kind of public address, or you're doing something, and it starts to go south, <laughs> and you feel the heat on your face. Yeah. You feel the, the, the heartbeat, heartbeat going, the, yeah. and you can't stop it. How That's do hard. you, as a performer, stop that? It's going over the cliff. What do I do? You gotta moment? breathe. I think you yeah. just have to kind of breathe and figure out a way to ground yourself. Uh huh. I think it's kind of mind over matter. It's so hard because it's like a runaway train, It right? can be. It can definitely be. Yeah. I mean, like when I was back on Idol, like there were a couple of those where- You, you had know, those moments? Runaway train, yeah. When you were the performing adrenaline or- just, <laughs> Yeah. Through so the... during performances, right? Oh, yeah. Or Without right before the performance. The or something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of- I think the hard thing with being a vocalist is learning how to like harness it and use mm-hmm. it. So for stuff that's real like like big and and aggressive, mm-hmm. it's almost easier to use that nervous energy. Mm-hmm. But when you're doing something like quieter and more still, that's when you have to like whoo, breathe it out, mm-hmm. get into your feet. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Not easy, but no, I bet. part of the trick, you know. I bet. Yeah. If Ryan Murphy called you and asked you to do something on American Horror Story, would you do it? Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that show. There's a lot of people listening here in Los Angeles. You <clears throat> Come know, on, this, Ryan. This might happen. <laughs> Come on. I'll show you Are a you horror story. Are you dressing him publicly right now? Yeah, Ryan. What's up? 
<laughs> he puts a lot of singers in that show. Yeah, Lady so, Gaga's yeah. in Hotel. I can't wait to see that. Yeah, I can't wait to see good. that. It's a that's a great show. I love that show. And the the season before last with the witches mm-hmm. it blew my mind. It was it made me laugh. So it was so funny. Stevie Nicks was in it. Yeah. It was oh, so it was so, so like dark and twisted yeah. and 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 kind of drag queen. Okay. The humor. I mean, it was like fabulous drag. You know. Yeah. It's great. Here's a great thing about Adam too, and we had mentioned this on the air before about different artists. He maintains eye contact. Oh, do other people do? not? No, people look. We found out there's a study came out recently. People that look away seem disinterested, obviously, when they're looking away, right? And are not really part of a conversation or part of you know being honest about who they are. But you and I have maintained some eye contact, and Jill and Kevin, yeah, serious eye contact during conversation. Well, all three of you have very pretty eyes. Thank you. Yes, you I can't know. see this at home, ladies and gentlemen, but we are all Can you tell? four of us wonderfully blue-eyed people. Can you tell I have these done? What? Your what? Your eyebrows? Yeah. Can um, you tell? Well, uh, no, I didn't clock it, but now that you, <laughs> they look very nice, they look great. <laughs> They look, but that's good. You don't. I think you want an unclockable brow. What is clockable? What are you talking about? Like I couldn't tell that you got it done. Is that a new word? Unclockable? No. Yeah, I've heard, not, no, no, I've no, never I'm heard that in context. Yeah. yeah, I didn't clock it. I didn't clock it. 